Hello Masoka Universe. Yes, the holders are off to a good start. Uh, Cameroon, who probably has the most prominent coaching squad, or maybe the biggest names at this Africa Cup, I thought, in their coaching team. Clarence Seedorf and Patrick Kleivert are the coaches, which I absolutely love because I I really think I have a he didn't coach many big teams. He got a chance at Milan and I think he was cut too early. Clarence Sedov is a really smart guy. I heard him talk about soccer on TV when I was, was in the US and I really thought that under, at Milan he had some cool, good ideas but I don't think he had the backing of the board and that was his undoing. I really am uh, hopeful that he will be very good as a coach for Cameroon. The game between Cameroon and Guinea-Bissau uh, was a little bit a hard one to watch. I mean, I saw a little bit of the second half uh, with Cameroon in the classically green-red-yellow combination. However, Guinea-Bissau played in red Puma jerseys with a little bit of white and green below, which was a little bit of a color clash. On the other side, I like it that they allow color. Uh, the Guinea-Bissau kit also was interesting because it has kind of a bird pattern uh, printed on there, which I thought was interesting. Well, Cameroon through um, especially Chopper Moting and Basugog um, had the better of a very slow first half. Uh, they did have uh, one or two chances, but also uh, Pelé for Guinea-Bissau had a shot from a distance who just went a little bit off goal. However, in the second half, this is where actually the game then really picked up and got some steam um, with a first Cameron having a chance, but then also um, again a Palais shot that's blocked and uh, Mane, sorry Mane, uh, gets uh, off another distance shot that just scratches the bar a little bit. But Simling Sedov really uh, told these guys to uh, start attacking because the game really picked up a lot of pace. And from a corner kick, uh, Yaya Banana uh, had it in and there was no uh, way to save it. I mean, it was uh, for the uh, player that was on, on the line and it's 1-0 in the 66th. And then a really unfortunate um, sequence where a cross comes in, it is headed onto the leg of a defender and it falls to uh, Stefan Bahoken who just came in to two minutes early and makes it tunnel for Cameron. Guinea-Bissau, after that, I think it was Balde, hits the uh, uh, post, also has another uh, shot, but also at the same time, uh, Chopper Motin could have made it 3-0 uh, for Cameron, which would have been a little bit too I think Guinea-Bissau was well in the game. However, Cameron takes the win, which is not something you can say about uh, the other game because uh, there was no winner. Benin gets a shock lead in the second minute through Pote. However, um, Ayu, Andre Ayu, comes right back and makes an equalizer. And uh, Ghana is taking control of the game. Jordan Ayu, who just... Uh, um, no, was another guy. Uh, makes then with a wonderful move the 2-1 uh, in the 42nd. At that point you think, yeah, Ghana is fully in control. However, in the 55th, John Boye gets the second yellow card and Pote shortly after can equalize. Um, so at that point it is 2-2. And yeah, uh, Thomas Partey has a chance for the free kick to equalize, but it was wonderfully saved and it ends 2-2. A note on the jerseys, I'm liking that Ghana is now going to white uh, no, uh, is ditching the white jersey in favor of red and yellow, uh, but I'm not so 100% sold on the ones that Puma is pulling up now. Um, Benin played in white jerseys with uh, by Ambro with also some interesting accents. So it was maybe not the most exciting jersey matchup, but uh, it was still, if you look over at the jerseys, they looked nice. Today we have uh, an early game with uh, where Nigeria has to again play in the heat um, against Guinea, which is actually the 
should be the top game in this group. And then we have Uganda plays Zimbabwe and the late game Egypt against Congo. So this is kind of the prelude. We have a lot of big games coming up now, uh, big group clashes. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Drop some comments below if you want to film me in or uh, disagree with the assessment of the games that I had. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more updates like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.